Loco, let me find my torch. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I understand that this is... Yo, right from the get-go, this bro is like low health now. Hello, stop it! Stop! Mate, this guy's new! He was just born! This guy was my level 12! He was just born! He didn't even get a single move! He got rexed! Can I just, like, leave? Can I, like, retreat? Tactical retreat. What do we do now? Oh shit, dude, they take way more damage now? Heal up, heal up, heal up. Bro, 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 stop it. Death has been denied for now. Oh, I got his brain back. Never mind, guys. Don't worry about it. We got his brain. Oh, thank God. It's important to save your brains. Oh, shit. I actually... Okay. Uh... This is a bit awkward right now. New Lich. I have a couple of lower level minions, but... Ooh, these are actually not messing around anymore, man. They've been leveling really steadily. Brain backup. It's important, yeah. Let's kill another Lich Loco. No, no, no. Guys, hello. I'm trying to keep him alive here, okay? So that makes me, like, skip that one battle. I Wait, no. Oh, I still have to do the battle, didn't I? That's the one I just did, right? That was just unlucky, though, because they all hit the Lich. Did I do anything wrong? I'm trying to think. Like, did I do... Okay, we'll read about the Dwarf. Maybe that'll make it better. The Alchemists of the Guild preside over the mining operations beneath the castle, having been given... or having been given full authority of the humans above. New full authority? Oh, by the humans did. above. I was gonna say. Yo, thank you! Liam, welcome to the family. Um, for this reason, they have stepped in to personally deal with the undead evasion, lest the rise of Eratus be blamed on them, and the humans use uh, this opportunity to restructure the terms of their agreement. Gotcha. All right. So I still have to do the battle. I just got unlucky. Here we go. Don't get unlucky again, please, because that would be very expensive. See, now I can go first. Hello, Blizzard. Why can I now go first, not previously? Dude, they fucking hate liches. This guy shakes the coin purse. That's when you know he's serious about it. Oh, straight up into the big boy hits. Or the big girl hits, I guess. Of course, guys at one health. Oh god, he's insane! Oh, he killed his ally. Okay, I was gonna say, that would be bad, but... Yeah, so minions are becoming more and more disposable, huh? That's what I'm learning here so far. Loco said subs are bad, so do not sub here. No, I said I... Uh, I said I, I preferred subs over dubs. Yes. That's what I said. I was trying to retrace my steps real quick. No, I said it the other way around at some point, but I actually did watch it. With su no, bro, 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 bro! Hi, 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 what the fuck, man? 
Dude, these guys are going bananas. New subscribers protected. Woo! Yo, thank you, Frozen. I appreciate you, dude. Kill him, please. What a messy battle. Is it what the is this what the rest of the game is gonna be like? A sad display for mortal kind. Of a mortal kind. I think the rest of the game is gonna be messy as hell. Alright, so I think I should definitely keep these two as a frontliner. Because Lich Boy did not do so hot over there. I like these two as the back, so I think this is like a pretty good setup for us. Um, I think I should probably also be upgrading some of New my existing ones, because I don't have that many resources anymore. What happens when a frog illegally parks, it gets towed? What happens if a frog illegally parks, it gets towed? Oh, jeez. <sighs> Thank you, Gavilan, for the 21 months. I appreciate you, I think. I'm not sure, but... I'm gonna upgrade one of my existing dudes. Yeah. So the lowest level one on my team is gonna get upgraded. Or maybe, maybe I'll upgrade Zombie Boy. Yeah, Zombie Boy over here. Welcome, you got a new brain. Congratulations. Serve me well, my minion. My minion? Brains. Brains. Oh, Alright. Um. Now. Prove yourself worthy of my investment. Okay, we'll give ourselves a little bit of defense. Probably not a bad idea. Initiative actually is also quite good. Being able to go sooner is not bad. Okay. All right. A vegan zombie a zombie would want grains. Oh god. I should probably get the destruction one. I haven't really done any destruction. A bone spear? It's my nickname in college. Wait, nah. Uh. Ah, I can't wait to try this out. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Guys, I can't upgrade any of my things anymore because like I fucking like don't have the minions. So I'm gonna get a gajillion dagger souls, but like oh wait, I can use still one over here. I need 75. That I can get more dagger souls that I can't spend. Okay, I want to do one more battle. I want to fail one more time is what I'm trying to get at. <laughs> and then I'm going to be calling it a day, guys. Loco, don't leave us. There's a new YouTube video that just went live, guys, if you want to check it out. It should have just gone live anyway. You know what? I'm also going to give my Dark Knight a brain. Here's a brain transplant for Dark Knight boy. There you go. Uh 
Get back to battle. Get back to battle. Alright. Oh shit, what's this? A hammerer? It doesn't sound good. What's this? A heavy fire thrower? Is this a hell bet? Oh, sorry, a heck bet? There you go. What's this then? An oracle? Oh god, there's a fire bed and an oracle? Yikes! Zealot in the front, I guess. How much? Oh, he's got 20 armor. Holy crap. Uh, Ignored ward. Yes, that's good. Oh shit, what? I meant to kill the other one, but fair enough. I do have to be accurate with my clicks. Sometimes I don't do it for some reason. God, what's this? What's this? What's this? My goose is getting cooked! Oh, she's protected. That's how it works. I did not misclick. Okay. Yeah. It's fine. We'll get there eventually. I hope. So wait, can I break their shields as well with this stuff? A hill of teeth? Oh shit, that's really good. Kill, my darling, kill. No, 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 no. Okay, I thought he was gonna do a magical move. Smack him. There you go. Good hit. God, this is... No, 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 no. Very dangerous. Regeneration? Hello. I need that. Kill him. There you go. Nice. I don't know what fire thrower guy is going to do over here, though. I'm a little scared. This is what a thousand years of evolution looks like. Yeah, <laughs> pathetic. Pathetic. Um. Yeah, both of these have a gajillion armor. So I don't really deal a lot of damage until the armor is gone. Oh god. Oh, bro, that attack is nuts. No, no, no. What? Why do you get to go twice? That's not fair. They're burning out. I need to save my wrath, hopefully, for like... Um... Do we risk it and try to kill him? This guy has so much health. Holy shit. I might actually lose him. I need to use this ability, I think. Nice shot, sweetie. Okay, that's good. Something, at least. Now we just have fire thrower guy over here in the front. No, don't kill him. Oh, shit, he's gone. She is also taking a critical amount of damage beginning of next turn. Holy shit, dude. I'll have to try and like kill him, but. Don't know why. 
Oh no shit, it's too much armor. Sky. Bony weather in uh, this is bad. I don't think I can kill him, guys. I'm pretty sure everyone's just gonna die here. Maybe I should use this. So I can deal, like, a lot of damage because of the armor here. It's like a disaster. I'm not gonna kill him within this turn. Oh god, it even critted, so she's dead right away. No, rip and tear. Yeah, I thought there was an ability that removed all ability, or sorry, all, um, whatever it's called. Like, it would remove, like, armor, but tear it to organs? No, but this is, this is block and warts. It's not, it's not armor. It's different. Right, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's completely different. Now it did absolutely nothing. Yikes. Okay, it's his turn. I think my characters are dead. My hordes are without number. Wait. Oh <gasps> no! I will undo this defeat. Uh, did I just waste my playthrough, chat? Because these guys do not heal right now. I guess I have my stress team. But this might be GG. Maybe time to go back out and grind levels? There's no such thing as going out and grinding levels. I have to do the same fight again. You can't backpedal. Yeah, I know I can use resources to heal minions, but like... It's not like these are that high level either. I'm gonna try and use like a stress... ...team instead. Yeah, the enemies are once again there. I'm gonna try one more battle, guys, and then I'm calling it a day. I'll level up my werewolf here in the front, I guess. I expect results. So there's tear to pieces. Yeah, this is what we needed. Instead of tear to organs. Wait, no, I just had the default one. That's really nice. Tear to pieces. Yeah, that's the one. That's what I was looking for. My previous werewolf had that, but... Okay, everyone max out. So she is going to try and stress people out. My enemies are in for a nasty surprise. Removes all debuffs from allies. Okay. I can use this thing too. I feel like this is gonna go really poorly though because I barely understand these characters. I've only used them like once. So this is gonna be a good learning moment. I just wanna know whether or not, or I just wanna know whether or not I should like start next stream with a, f a fresh game and a fresh playthrough or if I should continue this one instead. No gold, All right. but it will do. Here we go. Wait! 
Oh, I thought they would respawn. Oh. Oh, I uh, they didn't respawn, guys. That they, they uh They didn't respawn apparently. They did uh, did yeah, they just didn't. Yeah, I brought all my supplies over here. There you go, we did it! Yay, chat, we did it! Woo! Soon this world First try, baby! Nine. Very nice. This is just like a Zerg first Terran right now, man. Sometimes the Hellbats just like plow through everything, and sometimes you murder them and you wonder like what the big deal is every time you face them. Heavy Fire Thrower. Fire Throwers are the personal elite guard of the Alchemist Guild. The dwarves don't quite trust their human partners, which is why they have brought along these fearsome warriors as insurance. After all, getting burned alive is one of the least pleasant ways to die. Can I do one more thing? I want to do one more thing. Okay, I'm gonna do one more thing. I want to do the quest. I like these. Okay, now I'm really done, though. Oh shit, I hope I don't have to fight. Here your army comes upon a true bastion of dwarven technology. A makeshift factory so massive you wonder how they even managed to carry the materials into these caverns. But such questions matter little. What matters more is to raid this structure and stop the dwarven weapons production. The various workers seem rather ill-equipped to fight your army, so you expect an easy battle, when suddenly one of the dwarves breaks away and runs towards a mechanism meant to trigger the alarm. You can't stop him, you will need to face the- Okay, let's go, boys! Okay, last, last one, chat. <gasps> uh, this seems- this seems rough. This seems really not good. You know, you know what? There's, There's no like... sun up in the sky. Bony weather. Oh! Evaporated. Ma, just five more minutes. Back to the pit. Hell yeah. Okay, get rid of some of those warts. Okay, miss. Ooh, they all got an armor. Okay, fine, we'll get rid of the armor over here in the front, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I'm trying to stress them out. I need to get rid of the warts. There's really no other way of doing it. Ah, your frail bodies fail you. The Banshee does have a chiseled jaw, yeah. She would definitely be verified on Instagram. 100%. Okay, we can freak this guy out. Hope there will still be enough Ooh. left to reanimate. What happened? Mighty? What the hell, man? I stressed him out, then the guy starts dealing more damage? What the f- Is that like just RNG? I think that's just RNG. I think I just got very unlucky. Pretty sure I just got very unlucky there. Like, it's like the stress test. Yeah, exactly. It is like the stress check in- in- Yeah, exactly. Like, sometimes maxing out in stress gives them a positive debuff. That's the first time I've ever done that, and of course, in classic loco fashion, they instantly get it. Oh, right now he's got... This will be your oh, come on, man. I think it's just random. Okay. 
Okay, that was lucky. Bro, stop it. Can I actually use this ability again? Finish her off. There you go. There's no sun up in the sky. Bony weather incoming. Okay, skip their turns. That would be not a terrible idea. Murderer. Um. So it does debuff them right away as well. Extinction of life. Don't kill my banshee, please. Or just you know. Oh, no, one health. No, 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 no. No! Oh, come on, bro. Oh, she's one health. Never mind, it's fine. That's all jet. Don't worry about it. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. If this keeps up, I'll be done purging the world ahead of schedule. All right. That was pure skill. There was no luck involved at all. The reinforcements finally arrive as you dispatch the last of the workers. The real battle be... The real battle begins now? These have no armor. These have no armor. I think I can kill them, chat. Maybe not the Benchy, though. I'm not sure about the Benchy. Fuck the Benchy, dude. Oh, no. That needs to be one of you. <laughs> Dude, no. I, what am I? Like, my alternatives. There's, I could try and retreat, but, like, that's not going to happen either. Pretty sure I'm just going to be dead. So I need to try and kill them. They all have a little bit of armor now. Of course they do. Because that, you know. Bump. Big bump. Yeah, not a big bump. Small bump, dude. Oh, I think I might just like lose everyone here. Your frail bodies fail you. Oh my god! <gasps> what the hell, man? Elite Berserker is crazy. All right, guys. I think tomorrow when I jump back into this game. Well, uh, I was saying earlier how everything was going smoothly and how I wasn't really running into a whole lot of troubles and it was going well until we got to this, like, freaking second area. Like this... There's, like, some crazy moves here. New subscriber detected. Wow, thank you very much, Celery K. I appreciate you, dude. Okay, insanity. Savor these last Bro, hot why, why would I ever use stress attacks if like they fucking go crazy on my... Oh. What is this? Why? Uh, why would I use stress attacks if they go bananas and fucking like zigzag everything down? This fucking, this is a fucking tornado over here. You kidding me? So what happens when I do it all the way? Pain only makes me hit harder. So nothing even happens. I like fucking prepared the whole. The whole. Mm, I better not make a habit out of this. All right, guys. Here's what we do. Here's what we do. Do we just delete the game? I feel bad deleting the game. I don't want to save scum. No, 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 no. We don't uninstall. We don't save scum either. It does have a reset floor option. Restart from the beginning of the floor. All your progress on this floor, including minions created, artifacts found, experience gained, and so on, will be a loss. I'm going to just try out what happens. Does it reset to the beginning of like this? 
dungeon? Is this what I had when I started this floor? Is this what I had when I started the floor? Like two hours ago? I think so. Or not two hours ago. Like an hour ago? Oh, okay. Oh, that's actually a kind of... Okay. I might decide to restart from the beginning just in general because it's... I don't know. Well, I'll think about it for a little bit. So, I played this game for the first time a couple days ago. Um, I did quite well until I didn't and my party wiped. Uh, it was painful. Everyone in Twitch chat... No, actually, I cried. Everyone in Twitch chat posted Keck W's, L-U-L's, and all the rest of it. Um, I've decided that I'm going to restart today. I'm going to start again from the very beginning. And we're going to try an entirely different strategy. So you can technically restart the floor and stuff, but I'm just going to begin a new game today. We'll go once again on the more pain difficulty. And we'll begin at the beginning. Alright, so... Uh, for those of you that have never seen this before... It's a turn-based strategy game. Very reminiscent of, for example, Darkest Dungeon. Um, although it's got some really cool effects. It's like reverse Darkest Dungeon. So you can stress out the enemy team as well. Rather than like deal with stress on your own team members. And that's exactly what I want to try and do today. So I was looking at a couple of videos for this game. Now this game is... It's an indie game, right? And there don't seem to be that many people that have played this in the first place. Uh, <laughs> so I was looking up a couple of videos, but there's barely any in the first place as it is. Um, anyways, the videos I could find, they pretty much all focused on teams that worked on stress more so than damage. So in my first, like, proper attempt of this game, I was trying to reduce the health bars of the enemies to zero. I know, crazy. This is a crazy thought process. I was trying to win by, like, getting their heroes, uh, hit points down to, to, to nothing. I know. Nuts. Um, what I've noticed, though, is that everyone that I, like, you know, saw play this game a little bit on YouTube. I only watched for, like, half an hour, so I, I watched it for a little bit. Um, everyone was playing stress-based compositions. So, basically, the goal was to, like, reduce the stress or, like, increase, I guess, the stress levels of the opponents to the maximum. So, enemies in this game, they have, like, a health bar, but they also have um, a stress bar. And apparently, if you, like, reduce the stress bar from 100 to 0, they also die. Something along those lines. Yeah, so you play more of, like, a, uh, a survival game rather than, like, playing for the victory. So, I was cheesing them all the time, but basically, we want to play macro, I think. Now, the problem is that I, I'm going to have to play different heroes for that. So, I figured I may as well just restart once again at the very beginning because it probably makes more sense. Um, so, by the way, I was wondering about this. Do any of these things... No, no, no. I have to, once again, build this all from scratch. Okay. So, do I... Can I still... Okay, so I do have the different enemies on... Or, sorry, the different characters that I can create unlocked already. So, that's kind of neat. So, this is, like, I think the only thing that carries over. So, if I defeat another boss, I unlock the Headhunter. We have the Shade, Vampire, Bone Golem, which was also my nickname in Hollow... Uh, no, wait, in Heist... No. Uh, blood, blood Phantasm, Fallen, Vampire, I guess, Ghoul, Unfrozen, Reaper, Infested, Black Widow, Abomination. All right. Um, so I don't really know what kind of cope we want to play. I have no idea. But we'll just give it a try. I got a Sickle. If the total life sum of minions level in battle is less than 21, after a victory, Eratus additionally gains 10% of the experience from the current... Okay. Ah, fetching. Fetching. <laughs> fetching. Um... I think I'm also gonna start upgrading some of these things right from the get-go. So, increases the amount of digger souls received at the end of battle by 25%. The formulae reveal their secrets. I think that's really good, because that's the way we, like, upgrade our buildings and stuff. Um, and I probably want to get started over here, too. So if I can make a wraith right from the get-go and get started that way, we'll just try and be smart, okay? 
So this is how you craft, by the way, new minions on your team. So these are all level one. Um, I am, however, going to use this one to upgrade the obelisk. So the mythical obelisk attracts wandering souls. Every minion next to it generates three to six digger souls. Uh, applies after a victory. So I currently have 30 digger souls. So this is the way we like My upgrade our base. With so. Souls. My continued campaign certainly provides it with no shortage of spirits to harvest. Look how the DLC adds a few more stardom minions. I loved the Reaper. So can I see those? Oh yeah. Available to the owners of Wrath of the Necromancer DLC. I was looking in the DLC or at the DLCs on Steam for a second, but there seem to be a lot of skins and stuff that you can buy as well, which I really have no interest in, so I'm not sure. Maybe I don't know, dude. We'll just play like the vanilla version of the game first, and then maybe I'll do a DLC at some point. It seems like it's only two characters, right? So the Abomination, and then this one. So there's... Oh, actually, it's the same DLC. Oh, there's also the Infested, available to the owners of the Supporter Pack. So I think this is like $10 or something, and these are like $20. I don't know. I don't know if you get these right from the get-go or how it works. I'm not sure. Yeah, the infested, guys. I saw it too. Um. Oh, we also actually keep seeing the... The enemies over here. So you can kind of see how far I've come. This is... This guy. Was it this guy that killed me? No, it was the elite. Oh yeah, this guy wiped up my party. The heavy fire thrower, and then there was like an elite berserker or something, whatever his name was, that killed a lot of my things as well. Um. So as far as stress goes, I'm not sure, like, I need kind of like a composition that would work well. I'm really not sure what kind of comp I should play. So it seems like a lot of people really like the skeleton, which I immediately wrote off as terrible. Which uh, is kind of ironic, because apparently everyone else thinks it's really good. Um, <coughs> turns out I suck. Yeah, apparently it's got an upgrade that makes it better. I'm not sure which one, though. Bony Bully. Forceful Lesson. Unnerving Fortitude. Okay, so it's got physical attack. Physical attack. Astounding fortitude marks a minion has a 100% chance to redirect any attacks that target. Okay. So this sounds really good. Marks a minion has a 100% chance to redirect any attack that targets the marked minion to itself. So this one gives it additional armor and resistance. This one over here strikes back when attacked, dealing 100. Oh, okay. Is this, if you want to play like a, if you want to play like a strategy based around stress damage, I think we should like, once we hit a level three skeleton, we should upgrade it in that direction. Hey, but if you guys have a recommendation, like if someone here is familiar with the game, if you have like a recommendation for like a loadout that I should run, I'm very much so interested in it. I mean, I could try on error my way through it. That's fine. But maybe someone has already, uh, you know, got something that they think would work quite well. Because I've been winging it. So I really like the Bride of Eratus. I also really like the Zombie. I also really like the Dark Knight. The problem is that all of these are physical damage dealers, mostly, right? Maybe she also has something else, New though. subscriber detected. Yo, Grimby. 66 months, woe is our six more months, and we will be really popping. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. I appreciate you. Thank you for the uh, 66. That's a long time, actually. I appreciate you, dude. Welcome back. Hope you had a good stream. Look at two skeletons with repulse, stress, and protect other units. So you mean two with, like, the stance? Is that what you're saying, Kalibrovka? Because that's the one that I was just talking about that I think would be quite good. Unnerving Fortitude?
Wraith, Ghoul, Mummy, and Skeleton. Wraith, Ghoul, Mummy, Skeleton. Benshi, Shade. <laughs> I like how I get a lot of recommendations, but I, like there's there's lots of variety. Benshi in the back. All right, we'll add a Benshi as well. I'll just give it a try, guys. Like, what do I have to lose, right? Come, dear. It's time for your performance. Yeah, there's a lot of compositions. Okay, so Benshi in the back. Benshi seems to be a popular one. So she has lots of stress attacks. I don't know which ones I should focus on mostly. Like, it's a little overwhelming because I, I need to, like, have abilities on different characters that are good. But since they can all be upgraded, it's like the upgrades are, are game changers. Like, they're they're huge. So it almost feels like I have, like, nine characters right from the get-go. And they all have, like, ten different abilities and I should know them all. Crescendo. Stress attack. Is that the, uh, the ulti? No, this is the ulti. The howl. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You like two lich, two werewolf? Wraith, ghoul, mummy, skeleton? Banshee and shade? Okay, so this is a banshee. Do I have a shade? Shade? I don't have some- oh, there is shade, but I don't have that. Trigger insanity and 80 enemies. So I think that's probably reducing their stress or like reducing their sanity level to zero. I have never done that before, really, I don't think. Well, I've done it 15 times apparently, but like, not intentionally. So I think with this kind of comp, we can probably get there. Um... Okay, what else should I add into the mix, guys? Ghoul? Do I have a ghoul? I don't have a ghoul eater, guys. Deal 750 damage to your own minions? I don't have that either. Dark Knight has a stance that causes stress? Um... Each time an enemy receives a buff, the Dark Knight deals 8 to 9 stress to it. Do I just want to use this then on every single enemy minion? Alright, and then we need one more character to like kind of round this out and then we'll give it a try. I feel like this is not going to go very well, but... His second ability also deals stress? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... I remember the Wraith was, like, very stress-inducing, wasn't it? Necrotic Wind? Uh... What about the mummy? Ghostly fire is not bad either. What's ghostly fire? <sighs> I wish that was like a, a recommended list of like characters you could play right from the get go with like the basic minions so we can branch away from there. Wraith ulti with the Benshi was good. Alright, Curse. Deals 8 to 9 damage to the enemies in the chosen position and the next position in line. Alright, we'll give that a try as well. I may need a couple more restarts, but... We'll give it a try, man. Alright. Um, artifacts, done that. Alchemy, don't really need to do this yet. Oh, what? I can't craft these again? Oh, I just can't afford them, that's why. 
Um. Is this good? I have no idea. So I could craft one of these and then add it to like my dude over here. And now he's gonna take less damage, but eh. let's go to the dungeon. All right, so this is the first floor. The kingdom had need for the vast riches buried underneath the castle. Great veins of iron that promised to fuel conquest after conquest along with the ancient artifacts from a long forgotten age. The dwarves were eager to offer their services in this project, bringing their untested mining equipment and experimental concoctions for the promise of wealth. They only needed bodies that could obey and that the humans or that the humans could provide. With dungeons filled to the brim with both criminals and rebels, there was no shortage of slaves to work these mines. Drugs were used to keep them docile as they dug ever deeper, year after year, unaware of the mortal danger that awaited them below. So basically, this is where they found my tomb, right? As Eratus. And my goal in this game, as as Eratus, is to go to the to the surface and then murder everyone. We gotta try and like work our way through the mines, through the tunnels, through the barracks, through the catacombs, through the cathedral. And then I guess um, once we murder the world, we win. We're definitely the bad guys this time around. I ask myself all the time whether or not we're the bad guys in video games. In this game, there's no doubt. We are like 100% the bad guys. It's a very loco-like game. What does that mean? Hello. All right, so astounding fortitude. Marks a minion has a 100% chance to redirect any attacks that target the marked minion to itself. Okay, so this guy is first. Oh, I can only hit one of the two in front. Okay, fine. Wait, what? Oh, wait, hold up. I mark I mark him. Oh, I mark him himself. All right. No! Whenever an enemy moves, the Benshee deals stress damage to it. Hmm. So this is also stress? I don't know which one we should go for, mostly. So can I push them around with any of my other abilities? Because that would make sense. Yeah, Scream seems to just be a go-to strong one. So look, that purple bar indicates like how much stress he's or how much sanity he still has. But I'm not even entirely sure how this really works though, so. Ghostly fire. Ghostly fire was the one that a bunch of you recommended, right? Um Curses target for two turns? Okay, I'm just gonna like curse this guy in the front and we'll see what happens when his bar reaches zero. Okay, so now they're both cursed. He also has that attack and a stance. All right, use the stance on him first. Yeah, no, my, my characters do not have any stress. Because, uh, you know, they're not pathetic and weak like humans. Okay, so now his stress is basically at zero, right? Or his sanity is at zero. Is it gonna roll at the beginning of his next turn? Or how does this work? No, it's at zero out of 55 is what it says. Oh, I used the wrong attack. I don't like simple games, like there's no challenge. <laughs> Nephilim, are you saying this game requires no challenge? Welcome, dude. This game's super easy, you should give it a try. <laughs> so this is the ulti of the skeleton. All right. Oh, he's betraying his ally now. All right. So that guy just got a more materials. Ooh, I didn't think it would be this easy. 
What was that? Did he get a heart attack or something? What was that? All right. Get away, get fucking away. Did he just swear on my family friendly show? Wow. Very rude. New subscriber detected. <laughs> What's your third favorite dinosaur? What's going on, photos? Welcome back. I'm glad you follow me on the Twitter machine, dude. Thank you for the 16 months. Wait, is it his turn again? So what happens now? Like, he's already at zero. Nothing? Oh, okay, okay. Maybe you have to go below zero or something. I'm not sure. Let's go down, Teak. Wait, is it... How does it decide if, like, this thing is gonna... So it's at zero out of a hundred on its sanity. How does it decide if it's gonna die? Is it gonna roll every time there's a stress attack? Oh, it's random? New subscriber detected. Gotcha. Hey, thank you very much, Anonymous, for gifting a sub. This is my kind of entertainment. Ah, uh -huh. thank you very much. Mop up the gore. I'd hate to see plants using it as fertilizer. All right, so I got a level three brain, guys. Super excited about it. I love having level three brains. Is there anything better than a level three brain? So I can instantly upgrade one of my characters. So the one character that I'm trying to build around, I guess, is this one, right? Unnerving Fortitude? I don't know if that's the most important one, but that seems important. So I got, I'm gonna give my skeleton dude a level three brain. So now he's level three. I can upgrade one of these skills. Has a 100% chance to redirect any attacks, blah, blah, blah. Strikes the target when attacked, dealing, yes. All right, there it is. Loco will quit playing New StarCraft 2 when he gets detected. older. You are just a source of positivity, aren't you, Nephilim? Welcome, dude. Hope, hope you're doing well. Hey, thank you so much, Mr. Yoda! Gifting the five community subs. First subs of the week. Other than the anonymous gifts, I guess. Thank you very much. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you had a good, week uh, good weekend, Yoda. Thanks. <clears throat> I'm just being realistic. Nephilim, I feel like you're having a conversation with yourself, though. Like, you're literally saying, I don't like simple games. And then you're saying, Loco, you will quit StarCraft 2 when you get older. Like, spoiler alert, Nephilim. I'm also going to die when I'm older, but I don't really like being reminded of it all the time. <laughs> like, I'm going to be dead one day, dude. I will probably, like, also... Yeah, spoiler alert. I'm, I'm probably gonna die. Um, yeah, I'll probably be forced to not play New StarCraft subscriber one day. Detected. <laughs> but I really like the game as of right now, man. It's hard to live the game in the future. I'd recommend living, like, now. New easier. subscriber detected. Well, it's not easier. It's more fun, though. Hey, thank you very much, Anonymous, again! And thank you also, Zodiac. What the seven months? Welcome. Well, I, you know, I fully intend on being alive when I'm 150 years old, guys. 100%. I'll replace all of my body parts with artificial ones. Maybe I'll finally be able to control Zerg late game when I have like two artificial arms and infinite APM, but we'll see, dude. Thank you, Anonymous, for gifting the support. <laughs> Full cyborg? Ooh. 
Loco, I think you're reaching. Yeah, you're probably right. Terminator Loco. Let's go. <laughs> mm. Yeah, stress attacks. More stress attacks. Let's go. I'll also give him our base armor. Look, do you know the Homer Simpson meme where he's crying because he has to live every day like it's his last and he doesn't want to die? <laughs> no, I'm not familiar. But, yeah. New subscriber. Hey, thank you very much, Anonymous, again, for the support. All right, we're heading on over to the cultists. I can get a gift. Uh, mana and wrath restored each time the Dark Knight takes damage. The wraith blow five evasion for every block or ward applied. The second slipper. The banshee restores twenty percent vigor each time an enemy misses an attack against her. Okay. The skeleton becomes receptible to buffs, or receptive to buffs, but still immune to debuffs. That seems like a really, really, really good item. Not that I'm like planning on buffing my character. New subscriber. Because I don't know how, detected. but this seems really good. So his passive basically makes it so that he cannot. Like, I'm probably not going to make use of this right now, but I feel like that's the best one. Um, he's got a passive that doesn't allow him. Yeah, yeah. So he's immune to all buffs and debuffs, but I guess with this item, all of a sudden, he can be buffed, but now he's just immune to debuffs. That sounds real good. 